So I feel like God wants me to show how they have turned the gospel of God into idols for a kingdom on earth. Now, these people that they're showing in these pillars are clear Masonic uh, ways that God is exposing in the past. And yes, he did say, I'm the way, the truth, and life. A lot of these things are true, but here's what these false places um, are showing you. They're showing you to gather people to a um, to idolize people. Um, now, some of these people have God in mind when they're praising, but these false prophets, as you can see, he's doing magic with his hands. It's a, a way of a Masonic um, magic trick uh, to put you in a trance and flash uh, symbols, which is giving authority to the demons. So basically, they're giving authority for the demons to work in them and in the people. Um, it's a magic trick. And God says to cut off the idols out of the land, and they shall no more be remembered. Prophets and unclean spirits to pass out of the land. That's what he's doing right now by exposing these people. He's exposing them for who they, what they're doing. And um, a lot of people really believe in, in these people. And they are building a Zionism that is false because the kingdom of God, it, Jesus is Israel. He has two separate churches where he splits uh, the church people in this one. And then he has this other place where he puts the Jewish people. So he's splitting Jew and Gentile because he's got the false gospel and the false um, idea that the Gentiles are the church. Gentiles are the heathen, unbelievers. They are antichrist because they don't believe in Christ Jesus. The church and is both Jew and Gentile. The church of God, excuse me, the church of God is um, Israel, and that's Christ the New Jerusalem above, have, um, uh, the mother of us all. Um, and this is very serious. When they are splitting up God, his household, God has one household in heaven, and we need to remember this. And the new heavens and new earth is where his kingdom is. Um, and his people are one, the children of God. There's no division. These people are dividing God's house and dividing God. Remember, it's one body, one spirit, one family. Okay? So if you go to his church and you're Jewish, he's going to have you go to a Jewish ceremony in a different place. This is what the Zionists are doing. They are um, the New World Order. It's a trickery. And they use Masonic hand gestures. They are Masonic. And they get their power and their authority from demons, from unclean spirits. And their hand gestures are one of their tactics of getting this um, demonic power. And they seem very smooth. They're very good, seductive, smooth talkers. And that's exactly what Jesus warned us of. He said, Many will come in my name, saying, Here is Christ, or there is Christ. He said, Go not, for many will come in my name. You see the Masonic hand gesture there. Um, please flee from these. Jesus says, Come out of her, my people. That's what Jesus says. Come out of her, my people. This is witchcraft. All witchcraft. Witchcraft, witchcraft. And it's, it's demonic. Um, 
I'm going to show you something here real quick. Oops. Um, and it's um, the way the enemy has, men have crept in unawares, the enemy have crept in unawares, and doing things in a way, and you'll notice the hands, they do the hands not only, the hand signals not only to um, put people in a trance to follow them, it's the way that they put you in a trance to follow them, all the things that they do, but it's also a way to signal to other Masons that they are with them, okay? Um, and it's super de um, deceptive. And what God has shown uh, many of us that are um, part of God's, uh, uh, I don't know what you'd call us, the light army, the truth, the ones that, that God has revealed the truth to, opened our eyes to. Um, I have done many videos on this. Um, one of the things that he has shown us is that it puts people in a, a state where they are more susceptible to giving money, um, to give money to the church, to give their power to the church, to make them, um, uh, what is it called, to make them listen to them and obey them. Um, it's a way of making people obey this person. Instead of going to God for their information, they go to a man. And that is extremely deceptive and should be um, avoided. In the, in the um, Revelation, I recommend everybody read it. He says, come out of her, my people. He's talking about the false church. The false church is what you're seeing. And he says, have no idols before me. These men and women are idols before God, and they are deceiving the people. There's no talk about Christ and the um, death, burial, and resurrection, the sins that, you, that um, he died for, for the world. They believe it's for an elect people. It's not. It's for the whole world. Um, and they're making, taking over land and kingdom on earth in order to justify taking over areas of of authority. Now that's what demons do, okay? Demons take over areas. Yes, I do believe God has his people in strate strategic positions, and I believe that his people are um, the ones that are revealing this to get the people out of the stronghold of these people and their demonic words, their sorcery. Um, most of what they do is add their other things and I believe this is the flood that Satan sends out words, interpretations from men. And here's the part that you need to understand. These people teach in a way that the congregation are part of the world and never come to the understanding of what the world really is. They don't come to that understanding of the world and where they live. And that there's no peace here, there's no safety here. They want you to believe a lie, and they these people are part of the, the program, the program to make you believe a lie, to stay in the lie. And that's where Jesus called them vipers, um, the Pharisees and the Sadducees of his time. They were deceptive, keeping they were the money changers. These are the money changers. The ones that are really good at witchcraft. I mean, Revelation chapter 17 through chapter 19. Read it. It talks about the sorcerers. And then chapter 22, verse 15, talks about the sorcerers that are outside the kingdom. Um, they're very crafty in the way that they do things. And they all are together. So um, there's something else that I wanted to talk to you. Okay, so... People are coming to them, and they're not ever getting the 
advancing the kingdom in a way that Jesus wanted us to advance the kingdom. They're doing it in a dominion on earth where they are claiming, this is what they are claiming, that that um, we're taking over the earth and we're supposed to make the earth the kingdom. This is false. We're supposed to teach people or tell, not teach, we're not supposed to teach anybody. We're supposed to tell people the good news of the gospel of peace, which is the gospel of Jesus, the gospel of the cross, the gospel of the remission of the, the blood for the remission of sins, that all had sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, and that their blood record, all of mankind's blood record, is a guilty verdict that Jesus, God loved the world so much that he sent his son to die for the whole world for the remission of the sins of the world. That he did the work, that it was a work of God and not of man, that any man should boast. No man should boast in the great work of God. It's his work. It's not all.